watching the Beyonce movie last night was the best thing that ever happened to me. I feel so inspired. I feel like ready to work today. I woke up and just crushed my workout immediately. Like woke up singing her songs and was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this workout so hard. And I did and it felt great. So anyways, all that to say, um, I'm having a pretty good Monday so far. I had a Celsius, so I'm feeling pretty great. And keeping up with the not getting sick train, gonna take my ginger shot. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Today is a Monday and if you guys don't know my weekly routine by heart, <laughs> Should, I wouldn't expect you to. Mondays are podcast days, which means Taryn's on her way here. We're going to be recording our unsolicited advice podcast that we do every single week. If you guys don't follow my podcast or subscribe to that, we're available wherever you get your podcasts. And it's so fun because you guys essentially, our followers, our listeners will send in stories that they want advice on and we will just give you our raw and filtered advice. And it's so much fun. And I feel like we've had some great discussions on this podcast. So excited for another Monday. We also have a ton of content to film and edit for the podcast. We also have kind of committed to doing holiday drink taste tests. I don't know if you guys have followed me on Vlogmas before. 2020 and 2021, we did holiday drink tests on this channel. We decided to do that again, but on our socials for the podcast. So if you follow Unsolicited Advice on Instagram or TikTok, that's where we've been putting it. And it's been so much fun. So we have to film one of those today as well. And then recently we started a subscription service where you can get even more more of our podcast, even more of our content for a monthly subscription. So we have to record for that as well. All that to say, I will be on camera and because it's a full day today. I thought it was a perfect day to try out Flawless Filter, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter that I got from Sephora the other day. Again, this is just a sample size and I got the shade two because your girl is very pale. So we're just gonna see how we like this. It's very light and very sheer. And in general, that's my vibe. I did prep my skin already. I did a serum, I did sunblock, and I did a primer. So far I like it. It blended out very well. Two is definitely my color. I'm just gonna add a little bit more right here. This is definitely a more dewy foundation. Going in with the Patrick Ta Contour Palette that I am just so obsessed with now. These are all the things that I bought at Sephora the other day. If you guys didn't see the vlog where Alicia and I did a Sephora haul, that's where all of this is from. Oh yeah, that looks lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, gonna go in with the powder over the top here just to set that a little bit more. I was listening to the toast this morning as I do pretty much every morning. I'm a big toaster, especially in the morning. It's like how I get my news. It's how I'm aware of like what's going on in pop culture. They were talking about Matthew Perry's book and Britney Spears' book and it made me want to read them. I'm currently reading a book already, so I'm like, oh, I don't necessarily want to get into that when I still have a book to read, but I am fascinated. Speaking of reading, I'm not done with my book yet, but I am planning ahead of time, and I have been seeing TikToks, reels, nonstop talking about The Fourth Wing, and I would love to know if any of you guys have read it and if you recommend it. I haven't gone into a fantasy world book in a long time. Maybe it's time I change that, I don't know. Uh, part of me is like, oh, that feels like a lot of work because it's like a whole huge commitment, but also I'm kind of down. Especially with all of these heavier books that I've been reading or just like more difficult reads, a light fantasy sounds kind of nice. So let me know if you've read it before and if you recommend that I read it, if you think it's up my alley. I feel like you guys know my general likes and dislikes now, so just let me know. This Fenty Beauty Highlighter Duo right here is incredible. I use it all the time. It's my favorite. I recently fell back in love with the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. The cool thing about the brow setter is it's not a fully laminated brow. It's more of just like a brushed up fluffy brow in the best way. Time for some mascara. Mascara makes the biggest difference for me. I feel like I've said this before, but you know what? I'll go ahead and say it again. If I had to pick one makeup product to wear for the rest of my life, it might be mascara. Spraying with the Charlotte Tilbury spray that is like my godsend. Might have done a little too much, but you know what? It's a long day, so 
probably didn't. I'm just gonna throw on a little gloss here. This is a buxom gloss. It also has a bit of a shimmer. Cute. You guys already know what time it is. It's advent calendar time. And today is day four. Oh, cute. Oh, another lipstick. But look at this color. This is like a pinky red. This is the color in 12, I think. It's so cute and mini. I absolutely love it. Perfect to throw in a bag. I'll definitely be wearing this, I'm sure, to like a holiday party or something. It's so great for like a little bag. And I have little bags that need lipsticks like this, so. That's perfect. Moving on to the next advent calendar, my FabFitFun calendar. We have some Glamnetic press-on nails. These, I have heard, stay on like no other press-on nail ever. So I will definitely be holding on to these. These are great to have like in a pinch. If ever you have like an event or a party or something coming up that was kind of last minute and you weren't really prepared for that's what these are great for. You guys are already so aware, cause I feel like I talk about it all the time, but Jenny Bird has the absolute best earrings on the planet. They're so great. They're made so well, the material's amazing. I am not kidding when I say I've showered in these, I've gone in the ocean in these, I've swam in pools with these. They still look amazing. They clean up great. I've definitely had them for I think about two years now and I wear them every day. This is also one of my go-to favorite rings. This is from Majuri. This is just one of their gold bands. I love stacking it with this little diamond ring. How pretty is that stack? I do this all the time. It's like one of my favorite stacks. So cute. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my watch band that I wear every single day. This is from Casetify. I'm one of those people that actually switches my band out every single day. In the morning, I put on my workout band. And then after my workout, when I'm ready, I take that band off and I put on this band. I had it linked in the last video. I'll have it linked in this video. Look at this cutie. What a little nugget. Hey, Clo Clo. Is it potty time? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You guys are gonna die. I just stepped outside to let Chloe out and it's so hot. And I'm in this. It's so hot, I have to change. My hair is so gross and greasy. It would be something like this. My friend just dropped this hat. This is from Raw and Rebellious. And she collabed with my other friend Kennedy. It was like friend, friend collab, which was so fun. So I'll have this link. I think we're gonna go with the hat because it's just one of those days. Happy Vlogmas! Day four! Look at your favorite person. What a great day. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cute. Guys, Taryn is doing Vlogmas this year. I don't literally, what is happening? I, I don't, don't know, know and it's amazing. I've been watching, I'm a big fan. So definitely subscribe if you haven't. I feel like you absolutely have. <laughs> I feel like if you're on this channel, you're also on her <laughs> channel. Um, but just in case you missed it, she is doing Vlogmas, so definitely hit the bell so you don't miss any of her videos. So this is a warm gingerbread latte brown butter cookie. And I would love your honest thoughts because oh, it's different but delicious. Okay, it smells fire. Well, that is so good. Isn't it great? It's the brown butter. That's really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yay! Shoddy dense. <laughs> Santa cutie. Name that show. Do 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 do. Do you mean? Do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> you're like, what I say? <laughs> I was like, isn't that? Your face, I knew exactly what you were thinking. <laughs> is it recording? Yes, it's recording. Oh, shoot. Wait, can we confirm? What is it? Kim Possible. Yes. There we go. Hello, do, do, everyone. Do, do. Welcome back to Supercast. Welcome back, y'all. The episode where you get more of Ash and Taryn. I said more of Ash, Ash and Taryn. Taryn. I said more of Okay, we just recorded Supercast, did a TikTok for, again, the podcast Instagram and TikTok page. If you guys don't follow us there, you absolutely should. And we're headed to lunch. I'm gonna do the Chinese chicken salad, please. She didn't get her avocado. It's literally just fruity bacon. <laughs>
just finished recording, we are gonna go head over to Target. I know there's some beauty things I need to get. I know there's some food I need to get. Also, I just love checking out their clothes. So that's where I'm headed. What are you? Honestly, Lego? maybe a Lego. <laughs> Probably a Lego. This is very our generation. And I yes. feel like generations after are gonna look back and be like, oh, that was so retro. Yeah. Oh, a dog one. <laughs> Cute. Look at this bad boy. It's the most me thing. Shoddy, dense. <laughs> dense. I love this yellow bottle, or yellow bottle. The mic spills a little bit, and then Alicia just got this metal yellow one. I might Game get changer. this. I might Do get it. this. That's cool looking. I've been into like purple and green. So I feel like you specific. have a yellow water bottle, don't you? I do have a yellow. Yeah, I like the purple. I'm getting a white one. <laughs> Tara's getting a purple one. <laughs> okay. Our tongs have been broken for so long. You guys use tongs a ridiculous amount. I mean, every day. <laughs> there they are. So nice. So new. I'm like always looking for toys for my niece and nephew now. That's the season. Are of you now. or are you just looking for the Lego aisle? We're not there yet. <laughs> That's what I've had my eye on. Oh, Chewy? $200. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, treat yourself. I mean, I don't spend money on literally anything else. A dictionary. Yeah, but like everybody's talking about this series. I really want to start it, but yeah, but like that's like two books. You would read two books. Oh, I just feel like such a commitment. It's funny. Part of me is happy it's not here because it feels like such an undertaking. But um, I need the first book, the Iron Flames, the second book. So I'm gonna have to wait for that one. Or I could start it on Audible. I do have free credits pick out my Christmas paper for this year. You guys already know I love having a theme. I love like picking a paper and sticking with it for all of my presents. You think three is enough? I think so. How thick are they? I feel like that'd be enough. Should I put a bell on each of my gifts? That was cute. <laughs> Wouldn't that be annoying? But I feel like silver would look cuter. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is the most amazing time of day. When you're not going to leave, you can get in your comfy clothes, you can take your makeup off, you can unwind. I still have like work to do, but I'm gonna do it from the couch with a face mask on, <laughs> sipping my poppy. I have gotten into a new nighttime routine and I thought I would share it with you guys. This isn't a skincare nighttime routine. This is actually a beverage nighttime routine. What I've been doing is I've been taking a poppy for gut health, for bloating, for digestive reasons. So good, mm, so good. This is the cola flavor, classic cola, which I never thought I would go for, but I'm going for it. It tastes so good. And I know a real soda person like Taryn would be like, that does not taste like Coke, but to me, it does remind me of Coke. So I love it. This brand, Apothecary, has been sending me product for two months now. But something I love about Apothecary is they have these supplements that are so nice. This is called the Wine Down Supplement, and this is supposed to help support relaxation. So what I've been doing is I've just been taking, you're supposed to do two syringes. One, two. I've been putting them in my poppies like so give it a little swirl. Not only am I drinking a good for you prebiotic soda, but I'm also helping my body to decompress, which I feel like I haven't been good at doing lately, the decompress part. I've been doing that a lot lately and I've been loving it. They also have other options. There's one for anti-anxiety and there's one for a mood stabilizer. So if you're feeling a little emotional, maybe you're on your period or just going through stuff, the mood support's supposed to help you balance that. Also, there is the anti-anxiety one, which is just nice during the day. Okay, I ended up not really doing my hair today. It's it's not looking great. I am working out in the morning, so I don't want to wash it. <laughs> and this is the predicament that I always find myself in. We're gonna just put some hair oil in it and call it a day. Something that I just got, and I am very excited to try, is this 
Vegamore Grow Hair Serum. We're going to just start applying it to my scalp. And then I usually just take this little head massager and I'll just very gently start rubbing my scalp, stimulating the blood up there. Just to reiterate, this isn't something I do every single night. This is something I do probably once a week. And it always ends up being on a day where my hair is disgusting and I'm gonna work out in the morning anyway, so I might as well sleep with some hair oil in. Gotta give some love to the ends as well. Mine are looking a little rough. Gotta get a haircut soon. We're going to apply some of this oil and then work that up the mids, lengths, and ends of my hair. Going to add a little bit of castor oil. TikTok got me again, a boar's brush. Apparently this is great for brushing your hair and getting the oil all the way in to the ends of your hair. Really spreading that hair oil around. Cause we don't just want long hair, we want long healthy hair. We don't want the breakage. We want it to look good too. Wow, feels great. And then at the very end, after I brush through my hair, I'll add a little bit extra drops on my hands and rub them into just my ends just to give them a little extra love. Wow, feels amazing. My like hair oil scrunchie, <laughs> like washcloth materials. It's kind of perfect for this. Hair, done. Now I'm gonna wash my face, get ready for bed. Mm -hmm. 